you ate in the forest. Take you back to see your offspring. See, this horse is 13 or 14 years old. He's been all over the forest now, hasn't he? It's early May, and Robert Stride and his father Richard are taking their stallion, Rushmore Playwright, out onto the forest to run with the mares. Rushmore's been kept on Richard's farm all winter, where he's been living an easy life, but that's all about to change. Hopefully the horse might lose a bit of weight. After a short journey to where the mares are grazing, it's time for Rushmore to be released. Look at the mares coming. They're coming, look. It's been a while since the call of a stallion has been heard on this bit of the forest. Coming from miles away. <laughs> Two nice grey mares. Yeah. Proper Some... forest ponies. Let them go. There was a time when Rushmore spent all year with the mares. But recently, commoners have decided to reduce the number of foals born on the forest. Stallions like Rushmore now have just a few weeks of freedom. He didn't get them in foal last year, did he? I think he possibly will lose some weight. <laughs> <laughs> I think you possibly would if you had as many women as what he's got on the go. <laughs> Very lucky chair. Though he has just a short time on the forest, the Strides are hoping he'll sire around 25 foals, which will be born next spring. Commoners are all too aware that too many ponies leads to overgrazing. But no ponies would be the end of their traditional way of life. Look at that. Sad day if you don't see a stallion rounding up the mares in the forest. The key for Richard and Robert is in balancing the old ways with what's ultimately best for the forest. He's been dreaming of that for 11 months. <laughs> now his, now his, his dreams, dreams have come, come true. true.